Okay, very good. So good morning, everybody, and, and thanks for joining us here today. Um, I am the leader of our marketing as well as our systems engineering group here at TI. And I want to first welcome everybody. We thank you all for joining us. Thank you for joining the Open EV Charging Summit as well as for the partnership with the Linux Foundation. Um, I have just a handful of slides just to give you background on TI, what we do and why we wanted to, to be host here, why this is important, and then we'll hand it over to the presenters today. Um, so our company, is a, at a glance, we are a, a semiconductor company. Um, we um, make analog and embedded semiconductors, um, and our businesses are really structured where we have two major analog businesses, one that focuses on power, the other focuses on signal chain that interfaces with the real world signals, and then a processing business. And our processing business really focuses on how do we make processors, whether they be simple microcontrollers all the way up to high-end processors, and the foundation that we believe is we want to establish a deeper connection with open source. Um, and also we have a passion to make the world better uh, through making semiconductor technology more accessible and more affordable. Um, and we're also responsible and committed to being more responsible with respectable, uh, sustainable manufacturing. Uh, we are vertically integrated as a semiconductor company. And if any of you have been up and down 75, you'll see some of our wafer fabs uh, in Richardson and then further north in, in Sherman. And our goal is not only to design and manufacture semiconductor technology that can be used broadly, but also manufacture it in a very sustainable way. Um, and just recently, we announced with that our commitment to utilizing 100% renewable energy um, across our, our uh, manufacturing facilities. So we want to do that first in the U.S. by 2027 and then worldwide by 2030. Um, and that's a, a big commitment, as you can imagine. If any of you have been to Sherman, how many of you have been north of, of Texas and Sherman? A few. And so you'll see not only are we uh, continuing to manufacture with the facilities that we have, but we're also expanding manufacturing pretty su substantially. So we have two big wafer fabs in Richardson, Texas, and then four that we're manufacturing right now in Sherman, Texas. Um, and our goal is, again, across the U.S. to be 100% renewable by 27 and then worldwide um, by 2030. So when we think about the energy infrastructure, and what we obviously today we're going to talk about um, EV charging, uh, but when we think about the entire infrastructure from a semiconductor perspective, this is how we think about the types of systems that we need to create products to address. Um, and that includes not only the charging infrastructure, but at home, um, it can be the energy generation through renewable. It can be the storage systems through energy storage. It can be through the metrology functions, um, the smart energy and, and the, the energy hub. Um, and there are a variety of ways that we think about how we can solve these problems. I mentioned on the analog side, but also in processing. Um, so today you'll get a chance to talk to some of our TIers and they'll talk about the processing solutions that we're looking to, to create. But the intention is that many of them are built off of a foundation of open source. So our semiconductor innovation, really thinking about electrification and building a sustainable future, is centered around kind of four main technology vectors. There are more, but I, I summarize here that, that I consider to be most important. The first is high voltage power conversion. Um, so whether that be uh, from an AC source, which can be a very high voltage down to DC for a vehicle, um, or power conversion in the home, um, we provide solutions that manage that power um, from an efficiency perspective, as well as from a power density, how we can continue to provide high power in a very small form factor. Uh, current and voltage sensing is one of the areas where we focus. We think about how to do precise measurements, um, and that is not only for the power conversion, but also in the metrology functionality. Um, edge processing and communication. Um, so here, um, as you add more intelligence to these systems and make them more connected, these are solutions that uh, we look to continue to advance at TI. And then battery management. Um, so these systems um, can be power hungry, and our goal is to provide long battery lives, um, better utilization of batteries, whether that's batteries for um, the electronics that um, do metrology and functionality, or energy storage systems um, to provide longer battery lives and maintenance and, and monitoring of those battery systems. So, these are just a few of the emerging trends that we see in EV charging infrastructure. I'm, I'm sure there will be some discussion around some of these today, but 
Um, obviously, there's a, a, a push to go to higher battery voltages. Um, many vehicles today, uh, you think about, like, for instance, the Tesla uh, vehicles are based off of a 400-volt battery, uh, but VW and Audi released about five years ago 800-volt, and that continues to grow. So the range of, of battery voltages from 250 volts and sometimes even smaller, especially with the rise of plug-in hybrids, all the way up to 920 volts, um, means complex power topologies. Uh, complex DC DC stages that are required. Higher power density. So chargers need to support larger charging times, need to support higher voltage, higher capacity, but do it in a form factor that is really small. So th this is one of the, the technologies that we focus on. Bidirectional power. So power that is driven to the vehicle, but also the potential to do bidirectional. And that changes the power topology, changes the power stage, changes the complexity, changes the heating, the cooling of the system. Um, these are all things that um, we see as a, a big thrust in EV charging. Um, the charging infrastructure, so CCS and NACS, both requiring ISO 15118. Um, and we know that there is growing complexity in these systems, even with the, um, the rise of CAN as a protocol. Um, so these are all things that we see as, as growth in the EV charging space. Uh, metrology um, is becoming mandatory. Accuracy of metrology is, is critical. Um, and to be able to provide it in a method that allows um, robust uh, connectivity. And then finally, foundationally, Linux um, uh, and the processors running Linux and open source protocols, um, they are beyond gaining traction. This is a must. Um, and we also need to be able to support over-the-air updates. So these are just a few of the trends that we see in EV charging. And we at TI, we think about not only how do we provide the hardware and the silicon infrastructure, but how do we partner with for instance, the Linux Foundation and the OP EV Charging Summit um, to think about the software infrastructure that needs to be in place. So our products, we focus on open source, industry standard software. We want development tools that are easy and intuitive uh, to use, and we recognize we can't do that alone. There are partners um, across the ecosystem that we need to collaborate with, many of you in the room today. Um, so it's foundational work that we continue to invest in and, and try to enhance here at TI. Um, and these are just some examples of collaboration. Many of you represent the groups here today. Um, and foundationally, we want to be a semiconductor supplier that can enable the future of EV charging, enable the future of open source in a collaborative way. Um, so with that, uh, I th thank you all for joining today. I'm excited for the presenters that we will have. Uh, we want to be a part of this energy transition um, as a foundational technology provider. Um, and it's one of the reasons why we wanted to and happy to host the, the summit today. Um, so if we have an opportunity to communicate during the break, we'd look forward to it as well. And, and thank you for uh, joining us here today. Thank you.